Olivia Depot Museum. My name is Jennifer Fitzier and I'm the director at the Depot Museum. Today we're going to talk about this painting that Batavians know and love, Fox River Ice Skating by John Falter. It was painted in 1957 and it graced the cover of the Saturday Evening Post in January, on January 11th, 1958. Falter's specialty was painting basically scenes of Americana, very much like Norman Rockwell, who he really admired. Uh, but one of where he differed a little bit was he did a lot more panoramic views and deeper scenes, so you saw a lot more of the background, um, which is great for this shot because here you can see almost practically where to where Fabian Bridge would be today. Um, when it was painted though, the bridge wasn't there, it didn't come in until 1973. But today we are actually going to be looking at the back side of this painting. This is a side most people don't get to see, but as museum professionals it tells us a lot. Um, some of the things you can see are how it's aged, if there's been any work done to it, and basically you can see the hands that this painting has gone through. So actually we're going to start at the upper left. Um, here it says scene. February 57, Fox River, Batavia, Illinois. So that's starting the whole story. It was here. Um, right after it, it says, for the publication of the Saturday Evening Post, title of the cover. So here we knew it was going to be on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post. And it says, just says ice skating, so it wasn't the official title yet. Um, the date, 2-20-1957. They actually had this cover picked a year, practically a year before it actually was printed. Um, the number, it was assigned a number P8019, which you can actually see again in the large red letters there. One of my favorite bits about the back is this note here. It actually is from the artist himself. It says, note, fat man in the center of the painting is a portrait of Jack Smart, well-known actor and painter, and then his initials are right there, JF. So Jack Smart was actually a, quite a good friend of John Falter's, and he often would use his likeness in a lot of his paintings. So once you start to know what Jack Smart looks like, you look at Falter's work, you'll see him over and over again. Um, you can see the big measurements here. That was important for the framing of the piece because he had 100 and over 120 covers of the Saturday Evening Post. He knew what the ratio was, so he wanted to make sure that this painting was the right ratio to be printed easily on the cover. Uh, one last important piece of information we see on the back for the museum specifically is a little later from June 1962. Here it says donated by the Batavia Women's Club and the Fine Arts Group. So here, thank you to these three ladies and the foresight of the Batavia Women's Club to purchase the painting then donate it to the Historical Society. Thanks for taking the time to come behind the scenes with us at the Batavia.